Check the big board. No impact on the overall market. Absolutely not. Down 24 on the Dow. But look at this. The big story of the day. And it's big. Amazon buying Whole Foods. An interesting note is that the Amazon deal has erased $55 billion from other big retailers' market value. Because... Amazon Whole Foods is now going to compete with the Walmarts, the Targets, the Costcos, and the Krogers of this world. That's an uncomfortable position to be in, I suspect. Moody's managing director John Lonsky is here. We were talking during the break. You think this is a whopping great big deal. It is a very big deal, I think, for the U.S. economy and for the inflation outlook. Imagine what they're thinking at Walmart right now, Costco and Target. They're going to strive even harder to cut prices. There's going to be a massive price war taking place, pushing inflation lower. Price of crude oil is down from a year ago. And so, so I, wait, wait, look, look so at this whole thing together. Inflation is dead. Let the unemployment rate drop under 4%. Inflation is going to have one heck of a time reaching 2%. You know, you should really try decaf. I can tell you something. Uh, okay, so to you, as an economist, the impact is less inflation yes. or no inflation because Amazon Walmart is going to drive down prices at the grocery store. That's your story. Definitely, and I think that's what the big uh, macroeconomic implication of this merger. I think this is a very important merger. Let's not forget, in the end, Amazon is nothing more in a way, than Walmart on steroids. Okay, well now let's look at the impact on the grocery business. Is Amazon making a play to just take it over? Well, I don't think they could take over the entire business, no, but they're going to be putting a lot of downward pressure on prices across the board. Margins suffer, and this price deflationary pressure is now being reflected by this drop in the uh, share prices, the grocery industry. Okay, I'll get back to the economist bit. There's not mm -hmm. much inflation. That presumably means the Federal Reserve is not going to raise interest rates if you've got zero or very, very low inflation. They shouldn't be doing it. You know, and right now this morning, the Fed Fund's futures market assigns a 57% probability to the Fed's, Fed Fund's rate remaining where it currently is at 1.125%. Futures market doesn't see another rate on So the market is passing judgment on this, the inflation outlook, and saying we don't have it. Interest rates are going to stay where they are. Okay. Do you own Amazon? No, I don't. Okay, well, I had to ask. I mean, you're so pumped up about this, the company and what it's doing. <laughs> you have to ask these questions. You do not own it. Do not. How unfortunate. Dear God. <laughs> the thing you've got there. Put me bottom, before bottom Mueller. I do that. I don't own <laughs> yeah, oh, no, no, $95 a share. Okay. Now, the other side of the coin here is those shopping malls and sort of shop, strip malls, I think is the correct expression. I'm told that the REITs, Real Estate Investment Trusts, which deal in that kind of real estate, are just plummeting way, way down. Comment? Well, they have a headache. You know, it's not only Amazon, it's not only the web, it's also an aging population. Uh, 20 years in, in 2000, we used to have the working age population grow by more than 2 million people a year. Looking forward, the next 10 years, the working age population grows by only 400,000 per year. The baby boomers got older, and as the baby boomers aged, the need for all, all the shopping space necessarily declined. Well, Herb London is with us, and he's observing, sitting next to him, the pumped-up John Lonsky. Uh, <laughs> do you think this is as big a deal for inflation and for real estate prices and for the grocery industry? I, I think it is. I think that the deflationary impulse is really quite significant. And John, I think, has made the case quite well, whether, in fact, he's on decaffeinated coffee or not. <laughs> but, the, but the interesting thing about this is if you look at the Whole Foods, the prices in Whole Foods are rather high. And so you're talking about the convenience factor. It is not only the price factor that will be the competitive environment. It is also the very fact that now you will have your salmon and your Brussels sprouts delivered to you by a drone at, at Amazon. So you want your meal, you're going to call up, and that meal will be delivered in minutes. That, I think, changes the character of the way in which food is distributed in the United States. Very true, very true. Now, hold it. He's got one last point to make. He's so pumped up. Make oh, it. two uh, points. Housing starts are horrible. That argues for lower interest rates. I think the 10-year Treasury yield has to come down to about 2%. What he was stating, though, again, the reason why uh, Whole Foods is going to hold on to this market position is because they're going to keep prices low enough so that they scare off competition. We shall see. Lonsky, <laughs> take a rest, okay, lad? You know, calm down for the rest <laughs> of the day. But thanks very much for being with us. That's good stuff.